guys what's going on welcome back we are back with another video and i can't wait for us to get into them so let's go do y'all remember how creepy justin bieber's yummy video was let's start off with the promotion for the song justin had uploaded yeah you guys that video i love that song I played it all the time, but when I watched the video, it was a little weird to me and I didn't understand what the concept really was about. It was a little left. So let's see what happens. Over a dozen pictures of babies onto his Instagram page with the hashtag yummy underneath. In the music video, you can see Justin eating at a table, enjoying food with a bunch of the elite or rich people. He's enjoying a sandwich until gross food starts coming out. Then he's no longer eating, but all the rich people at the table are still eating the gross food, still participating in the gross acts. And towards the end of the music video, you see a plate with a baby Justin Bieber on it and it says yummy. During the filming of the music video, Justin Bieber had a panic attack and had to stop filming for a while. And when asked by Ellen what yummy meant, this is what Justin had to say. What were you thinking of when you wrote that yummy? Uh... Yeah, my sex life. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, yeah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm married, you know? Yeah, so. so you got that yummy. That's what it is, you know? Yep, yummy. <laughs> What? <laughs> you know, is it getting hot in here? Yeah. yeah, it was about his S-E-X life. And then y'all find it weird how he was sipping tea in front of Ellen and got a little nervous. Y'all tell me what you think Yummy was really all about. Now, let me just come to my house and come and stay. Would you like to come and stay? And make sure to hit that follow button because part two, I dive in Ew. deeper to what I think it's about. And things get weird. Once again, it's right in front of us, but people are like, oh, it's nothing. But you guys see how he advertised a song with a whole bunch of pictures of babies. What does that have to do with his sex life? Like, Yeah, so it's, it's creepy. It's creepy. And him having a panic attack, he probably knows that that was wrong. And I see him right now, like he's going through a lot of struggles. And I feel like he had to do those things to be where he is. He had to keep going. But ultimately... It is heavy in his heart, heavy on, heavy on his soul and in his mind because that inner conflict is showing through right now. I've seen him in many pictures. He looks very sad. He looks very depressed and he looks very disturbed. He let too many people play with his values and where he stands as a person and as a man. And he folded and he fell for it and he's going to have to pay for it in a certain way. And that's what it means to, in a way, sell your soul. That's awfully expensive for some pants. That's awfully expensive for a jacket. What is going on here? Um, I don't know what website this is, but I mentioned this in another video as well. Um, I believe in 2020 or 2021, this same exact thing happened on Amazon where there was high priced items, but the item itself was should not should have not been that expensive. It was a pretty cheap item. So this is kind of strange. It's the same thing going on here. So what do you guys think that they're really selling? is over convoluted right now it's too much it's too many everybody want to be an artist there's so many sectors in the entertainment business the artist is the last to get paid he's the brokest one out of everybody but he's the most famous so if you in it for the fame and you want to stay broke be the artist but the day you see all the other sectors in the business that allows you to make real money like the producer like the songwriter like the manager like the agent like the attorney like the pro like it's so many areas in the entertainment field that you can really maximize you got to be super lucky with the hands of God on your, on your shoulder for you to win it's actually the odds of you being an artist successfully famous in the top 100 is is almost like winning the lottery there's over 10 million songs being uploaded and released a day 10 million out of these 10 million songs a day not a month not a year a day and out of those 10 million songs uploaded a day there's only 10 spots no let me repeat it 10 spots that matter on the billboard charts all of whom i have worked with and was close to Heath Ledger, Chris Penn, David Carradine among them. I believe these actors were whacked, and I believe that many others, such as Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and Mel Gibson, are being played to get at their money. Oh, see you 
Sorry, you guys, I had to turn that music off because it was bothering me. You guys see that video floating around of the original version of the Bible from 1775? Please ignore my eye, my allergies. I will most definitely tag the original creator in the description, but what struck me the most interesting about the original Bible is that it has 13 months, not 12. You know they're always trying to throw off our energies, so that makes a lot of sense. According to the Bible from 1775, April 1st is actually the date Jesus was born, which that also makes a lot of sense. Everything in the spring, it grows. Why would our the beginning of the year be in January? Like, logically thinking, why would that be right? It's not. We've just been so indoctrinated into believing all these things that we can't think logically for ourselves. It's almost so easy that how could we miss that? And the entire world celebrates Jesus' birthday on December 25th. Instead, Jesus' birthday is labeled April Fool's Day. Ironically, just another thing to add to the list of bullshit. 13 astrology signs and 28 days in a women's cycle. I could go on. We've been lied to our entire lives. There's tons of proof of it, and I'm so glad we're all waking up. By the way, I just want to let you guys know, like, I know she, I know what she meant when she said it, but she said that the whole world celebrates it on that day, and that's not true. Other cultures celebrate it on a different day. Um, I know that in my country, we celebrate it on a different day. But yeah, that's, that's not the point. I know what she's trying to say. At the end of the day, we're doing all this stuff because we were taught that, and we're just following along, just like the sheep that people are, you know? Bones, it is a property called piezoelectricity. Piezoelectricity means that I could take a quartz crystal, think of a, um, a barbecue lighter, the long spout, you hit it, right? Click, 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 the fire comes. What happened to make that fire come? There's a crystal inside, there's a little hammer, the hammer hits the quartz. The mechanical force of the hammer hitting the quartz turns that force into current. The current then lights the gas and makes the flame. So when you put your pressure on sand, which is gypsum and quartz crystal is silicon, you're putting pressure on that sand. That's like a hammer hitting it. It's releasing current. This is why when you want a beach, you go off miles. Then you have the shore, which is the suds and the bubbles, right? Of the water crashing in. Anytime you got crashing water, now you got negative ions everywhere. It's called the Lennard effect. So it's almost like a jelly of negative ions all around you. Anytime it's a waterfall, water hitting rocks, the shoreline. So you just juicing yourself up the whole way <laughs> and juicing yourself back. That's why people don't break up on the beach. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't break on, up on the beach. Ain't nobody breaking up on the beach. <laughs> he said all that to say that people don't break up on the beach. Oh my gosh. No, but I was just talking about this the other day because it was raining so hard out here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I remember that when I used to experience anxiety real bad, I would love and I would pray for it to rain. I actually, so because when it rains, it produces negative ions in the air. So a lot of people with maybe depression possibly, but for sure anxiety, anybody that feels very irritated and amped up, rain is just good for them because those negative ions are calm you down. They soothe you and they make you feel real grounded and just real good and real smooth. Oh,
These popular children's cereal also has an ingredient that is the main ingredient in degreasing paints, tri-sodium phosphate. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's favorite cereal. Hey kids! Are any of these your favorite cereals? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, Reese's uh, Chess. Hmm, that's a really hard choice because actually they're like my three top. Tricks? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast? Tricks? Toast crunch all day. Do you know what these cereals have in common? Whole grain. Sugar. Bunch of sugar. All whole grain. It's whole grain. Content. <laughs> Yo, these folks said whole grain. This is why where we are today. They said, all right, let, 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 let's just keep it moving. What? High fruit toast corn syrup. Ah, that's so smart. <laughs> all right. Do you know what TFP is? No, I don't. Trisodium phosphate? No. Um, it's very not good for you. Good it's for you. you use it for cleaning. Would you eat that? No. I don't know what it is. It's degreaser. It's paint remover. It's a lubricant. <laughs> but it's also found in all three of these cereal. Um, it's an ingredient. Would you still eat it if I gave it to you like that? <laughs> no. Do you know what TSP is? Are you, you really know what it is? Come here. Do you, have you ever eaten it? What is it? Trisodium phosphate. What does it do? It cleans your walls very, very well prior to painting. Yeah. Do you know that's in your cereal? It's already an ingredient? Serious? Yep. In all three of these. Trisodium phosphate, right there. Right there, wow. Wow. I was actually quite surprised that there's TSP in the cereal. Yeah, so like on this, <laughs> so if you've used this before, and it says, a warning, harmful if swallowed, does that look okay to eat? It looks like sugar, but I know it's not. That's not sugar, that's trisodium phosphate. I know, but it's there's chemical. still chemical. Do you still want to eat the cereal now? No. no. She goes, yeah. <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't. No. no. Would you still eat the cereal right now if I put that on top? <laughs> no. What do you think that does to your insides? It makes bacteria go and Something like that. What's up with this one? This one's organic. Now, we're not promoting it or anything, but um, it tastes the exact same as Reese's Puffs, but it doesn't have the weird ingredients in it. Do you want to try it? Sure. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, if you look at the ingredients in this, you can understand all the ingredients. You know what you're eating. It's not necessarily healthy, but it's a lot healthier for you. It has no chemicals in it. Does it taste the same as Reese's Puffs? Mm -hmm. I still do this. I eat cereal sometimes when, I, when I'm in a hurry, but cereal is not a breakfast. Cereal is a dessert. It's just like eating cookies and milk. It's sugar and milk. Our food in the United States is pretty much like a devil in a red dress. It looks beautiful. It looks pretty because of all the colors that they make it, but it is literal poison. We're lit There's no other way to put it, you guys. If it's not good for us, it's bad for us. It's literal poison. Tell me otherwise. They are creating man-made clouds to cool the ocean. Yes. Take a look. There's two whole shipping containers with big air compressors in them to generate the compressed air to blast the plume. So what we see is that the plume actually gets sucked right up into the clouds. Oh, wow. we don't have well, to that's do good, anything. right? Yeah, yeah, it's terrific. It makes life a lot easier. And in fact, it means we're able to revise a lot of our sort of uh, calculations as to how many stations we'd need and how efficient it would be. Per second, one of those machines, we've got two now, but for one, it produces about a thousand billion droplets a second from about a shot glass of water a second, 30 mils. Okay. You're smiling. I mean, is he just making stories? <laughs> so this is this is the stuff of science fiction. That's Creating. Incredible. Man, I don't know how to feel about him. I just don't know. I mean, at this point, I don't think schools serve no purpose. And now all of us talking about these this new generation being a little bit softer. Well, the proof is definitely in the pudding. A 64% is a B. You ain't got to do nothing but show up to school and put your name on the paper now. What is happening? Society is crumbling, man. It's over. 
Like we might just go and let the robots do what they need to do. Let this artificial intelligence kick in because this is crazy, man. A D is a 24 to 44 percent. Man, we cook. Call me. Cook, cook. I mean, I think the United States has like the worst education ever. They have to keep the metrics going and they have to keep passing these kids so now since the kids are not learning anything maybe they just ran out of options and now they're just dumbing it down and passing everybody you know it's for these schools to actually have to sustain themselves and stay afloat they have to have a certain percentage of students that graduate and that's probably what's going on I'm sorry, like, it's like before I could think of its speed, it was already there and back. Can you imagine having that down the street from you? Like, just walking around or flying around in your neighborhood telling you what to do? I'm blown. I'm blown. Like, I'm shocked. Maybe it's me, but her eyes definitely changed on live TV. Oh, they're looking I for didn't see videos department has merged with two new videos we thought we'd show you at the end of the one of them is video of australia's new ambassador felony she just introduced herself to the world she's american what, what? Yeah, she's got a fake accent but as you watch this just take a look at her and ask yourself again we're not religious authorities but is there demonic possession playing a role in this watch hello i'm stephanie <laughs> yeah i'm sorry he just said, is there, you know what, possession going on? And she's really over there looking just like a, a D. Are they for real? This Campbell, Australia's new ambassador for gender equality. I'm incredibly honored to this role as the lead international advocate for Australia's commitment to gender equality and the human <laughs> If that lady showed up at your house at night... I mean, we're not being mean, just being honest. Like, people's hearts come through their faces sometimes. That's it's in my life before. Freaked me out. Thought I was crazy. Still haven't processed it fully. So... As I do every week, twice a week, I make deliveries to the same guy. I've been doing it for seven months. And it's the same guy every time I walk in. He's got a big garage with like a couple trucks in it. I walk in, I hand him his parts. We talk for a minute. He walk, I walk away. I go on my business. Today, I walked in, and he had his back to me, and he was working on his bench. And he must have heard me coming. I don't know, because I was actually pretty quiet, I thought. But when he turned around, I jumped and kind of grabbed my mouth like that because I didn't know what to think. And he laughed a little bit, and he called me jumpy. And, he's, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm just not feeling very good. And I handed him his part, and I was like, hey, I said, I got to go. The reason I reacted that way is because when I looked at him, he was different. He didn't look like the same guy I saw every other time. First thing I saw was he had no color in his eyes. They were completely black. Mm -hmm. Like black. Like you couldn't even see mm -mm. reflections. It was just a black mass. Mm -mm. And for some reason, his ears were kind of weird, and they had, like, this little point like that. I don't that know sounds what that familiar. Was. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But then I was talking to my friend, and he sent me an article about them saying that a new disorder that's coming out. All right, so this is how I know this video is not real. When them false flag events happen, they hire actors, and you can actually go fly to be one of them actors. I feel like that's what he is right now. If you can tell, like, he's not really scared inside. He really wasn't that distraught. He just kind of, like, retelling a story of a script. That's what it's giving me. And just the fact that he described the exact picture of what they had on the news when they said people are having this disorder or they're seeing the type of entities or whatever. I'm just not believing it. In reality, this has always been going on. And for the people that are very intuitive or just see through the veil or a little bit more sensitive to things like that, they have already been seeing this we have already been seeing this we already know this where people are starting to see demon faces in people and it got me thinking if they're putting something like that out could it be a disorder or is it god is actually letting people see demons yeah and i agree with that they're part. just trying to make it look like we're crazy I can't agree. I still can't process it. I can't. I don't know. And like ever since the eclipse, it's I find it funny. I, the clouds look different for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to figure that one out. But that could be just me being dumb. The other thing I saw, like I have perfect vision. So I don't know what I saw. Um, if, if anybody else has ever seen this, can you please let me know because I'm kind of weirded out right now. Um, anyway, God bless. Love you. Take care. I agree with him at the end. I'm kind of like believing him a little bit more now that I watched the video because the ending part, it was a little bit like more natural. So maybe he's just like freaked out to the point where he doesn't know how to feel. But anyways, that's neither here or there. Let me know if you guys seen anything crazy like that. I have a few times. Um, I think, you know, once I get more information and do a little bit more research, even though I already know in my heart, in my soul and intuitively what I saw, uh, maybe I'm going to put together something where we talk about this type of stuff. We can share our experiences. But yes, I've definitely seen these things in person, but it was way before this was ever said and ever a thing on the news. Guys, that was the last video. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, thank you guys so much for everybody that has already joined the family. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you hit that like button below to support our channel so we can keep releasing these videos. For anybody new here today, I want to say welcome to our family, you guys. Hit that notification bell down below and you will be notified every time a video is released. Like I always say, everything is everything. Be good and do right. And I will catch you guys on the next one.